and hello there guys and welcome back to another doctor phone video as per company policy apple frequently adds new functionality to current system software unfortunately upgrading to ios 16 is not as simple as it appears and some people even attempt to downgrade their ios version following the upgrade so this ios software experiment causes various problems including iphones locked in a reboot loop and if you encounter such a problem, don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly how to fix it in this video. But before we get into such details, please hit that like button and also hit the subscribe icon and remember to turn on that notification bell so that you're always notified when we upload. Now let's dive right in. If you have jailbroken your iPhone or are experiencing hardware troubles, the phone may become stuck in boot loop. However, resolving the problem can be difficult because you risk losing your data. So, so what should you do first? Well, part one, back up your iPhone. Before beginning the problem solving process, a vital step must be taken, and that is going to be data backup to avoid data loss. And the most convenient way to back up your iPhone files is using iCloud, which is simple to set up and makes it easy to update a new one. Just a simple, if your old one is dead or anything like that. Other alternatives such as Google Drive are also going to be available and very convenient. Alternatively, if you're using, if you're an iPhone user, you just want to have full control over your data. If you have made a backup of your iPhone and no longer stand the chance of losing your data, then you can move on to the next step from there. Part two, ultimate fixes for iPhone stuck in boot loop for iOS 16, which is also going to be supported. As I mentioned earlier, the problem might be caused by various factors. It could be the result of malware of a faulty update. As a result, the iPhone would become stuck in a boot loop and show the Apple logo over and over. Furthermore, instead of booting once, the gadget kept rebooting. This operation will continue indefinitely to build the iPhone boot loop. I'm going to show you exactly how to fix this issue. So let's begin with method number one, which is going to be to reset the SIM card. Now the problem with the iPhone boot loop can sometimes be traced back to the SIM card not responding issue. Although SIM card malfunctions on iPhones are pretty uncommon, they can cause a number of concerns. Some new apps, for example, are going to be incompatible, and the phone hangs, freezes, and, and displays no signal, and the iPhone may be locked in the boot loop. As a result, the simplest solution would be to remove your SIM card and wait between two to three minutes, and then put it back in to turn it back on. Method number two, force restart the iPhone to resolve the iPhone boot loop. So when you're stuck in the iOS 16 boot loop or in recovery mode, the simplest remedy is to force restart your iPhone. For iPhone 8 and, and subsequent devices such as the iPhone 10, 12, and 13 series respectively, push and release the volume up and down buttons to force restart the phone. For iPhone 7, 7 Plus, just simultaneously press the power and volume down buttons before the Apple logo displays on your screen. And then hold the home and wake button simultaneously for 10 seconds on an iPhone 6, 6S, or previous smartphones. And if your iPhone vibrates, you can leave the iPhone boot loop. Method number three is going to be to reboot your iPhone in recovery mode. So to resolve an iPhone stuck in a boot loop, boot the device into recovery mode, which will erase all data and thus resolve the issue indefinitely. So please ensure that you have backed up all of your crucial data on your iPhone before using this procedure. So step one is going to be to connect your phone to your computer and then launch iTunes. Press the power and home buttons on your device. And I should also clarify that this only applies to iPhone 6S and prior. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, the two buttons are power and volume down. For iPhones 8 and newer, press the volumes up and volume down buttons together. So hold the buttons until the Apple logo displays and then connect to iTunes. And when the Apple logo displays, it indicates that your iPhone is now in recovery mode. So when that happens, you can release the buttons from there. And then select Restore iPhone from the menu. I iTunes will reinstall iOS and erase your previous data. So just wait until the process is finished and then you're good to go from there. Now as for method number four, download and run Dr. Phone system repair for iOS. If you've exhausted all of the other methods that I've mentioned in this video, there's no need to waste time trying new ones. So you should go with the greatest repair solution available so far, which is going to be Dr. Phone. So what exactly is Dr. Phone? So Dr. Phone System Repair is software designed to make uh, removing uh, the white screen, recovery mode, iPhone Apple logo loop, black screen, and other iOS issues from iPhones, iPads, and iPod touches easier. It does not cause data loss while correcting iOS system issues, which is also worth noting. 
So to use Dr. Phone to fix your problem, you should download the software in your computer and then you should follow these steps coming right up. So go ahead and run Dr. Phone and then, and then select System Repair from the menu. And then go ahead and connect your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch to your computer through its lightning cable. Most iOS system faults are usually going to be resolved in regular mode by keeping data from the device after Dr. Phone has, has recognized it. Now, the advanced mode resolves even more iOS system faults, but it erases all data on your device. As a result, only use the advanced mode when the ordinary mode fails. So the software recognizes the model type of your iOS device automatically and displays the available iOS system versions. So then to proceed, go ahead and select a version and then click on start. And then given the amount of firmware to be downloaded, the download may take some time. If the firmware does not download successfully, you can use your browser to download the firmware and then click select to restore the downloaded firmware. After downloading, the utility continues to validate the iOS firmware and this screen appears when the firmware is is verified from there. So then afterwards, just go ahead and click on fix now to begin fixing your iOS device and then return it to its normal function in a matter of minutes. So take your device and then and then just wait to power it up. You'll notice that all iOS system issues have been resolved. It may have taken a few minutes to resolve this issue, but Dr. Phone is a proven solution to such problems. So using the options described above, you should be able to resolve the iPhone stuck and the reboot loop issues rapidly. Also, at the next time that you have an iOS problem, whether it's an iPhone 14, a 13, iPhone 6 Plus, or an iPhone 10 series, feel free to download Dr. Phone System Repair for iOS to resolve your iPhone stuck in the boot loop in no time. I have shown you some common ways to fix the issue, now, but if you're still faced with the issue after using them, I strongly recommend that you try using the Dr. Phone app. Also, please drop a comment in the comment section to share other methods that you think will work. And if you haven't subscribed, please kindly do that now. And I hope to see you in the next video. Have a good one.